Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. Not in the desert today. Today we are in Klamath, California, smack dab in the middle of the Redwood Forest. And today we are back at the Trees of Mystery. As you can tell, there's a giant Paul Bunyan and Babe the Big Blue Ox behind me. Trees of Mystery are not just a hiking trail, but you'll see some things and be able to do some things here that you really probably can't do anywhere else in the world. And I'm inviting you guys to come along with me. So let's go check out the Trees of Mystery right now. About 20 miles south of Crescent City on the Redwood Highway lies the Trees of Mystery. It's easy to spot with a 30 foot tall Paul Bunyan and of course Babe the Blue Ox. But you will enter the Trees of Mystery through this extensive gift shop where you can purchase your tickets right over here at this counter. Now if you want to grab something to eat or something to drink to take with you on the trail, do it here because you're not going to get another opportunity until you get back to the end. With that being said, you buy your admission, walk through this door, and you are off. The hiking trail is not incredibly long or incredibly difficult, but there are a lot of uphill and downhill, so keep that in mind if you're planning on coming here. It is uh, wheelchair accessible if you have a power wheelchair, no problem. And they are also pet friendly, so you can bring your dog here if you want as well. But this place is a natural wonder unlike anything I've ever seen. And I'm going to give you a bit of a first-person view of what it's like to walk through it. But they have an amazing collection of trees. The first one you come to is the elephant tree. You can see why they call it that. Very unusual. You'll also see the upside-down tree. This is one tree that is growing vertically and horizontally. Very strange. This place is so pristine, it doesn't even seem real. The fallen giant has been on the ground for so long that other redwood trees grew right over top of it. It took about 3,000 years to accomplish this. You'll also see what they call nature's underpass, which is part of the octopus tree. Here's another fallen giant that was 320 feet tall when it fell. Even the spruce trees in this neck of the woods can grow to be almost 200 feet tall. It's really amazing to see. Here's the three in one tree. It's one tree on the bottom, three trees on the top. As we pass the 297 foot tall Trinity tree, we get our first look at the Redwood Canopy Trail, which is my favorite thing about this park. Perhaps one of my favorite things about the Trees of Mystery is this amazing Redwood Canopy Trail they've installed just a couple years ago. You can go up these steps right here behind me and take a walk through the treetops. Let's go. This redwood canopy trail is pretty amazing. It's unlike anything else I've ever done. I do not recommend it if you are afraid of heights. People who are afraid of heights might find this pretty terrifying. There's also a good amount of stairs to get up to the top level, so keep that in mind. But I'm gonna show you what it's like to walk through this redwood canopy trail. And sorry about all the huffing and puffing. It's been all uphill 
and upstairs from the start of the trail so far. I'll catch my breath in a minute. This is only my second time ever coming to the Trees of Mystery. And uh, I knew the last time I was here, this was something I was definitely gonna do again. I am uh, probably at the highest point off the ground right now. Let me show you, at least as far as you're gonna get on the canopy trail anyway. I'm not gonna stay here too long. Let's keep moving on to the next tree. My favorite part of the canopy trail is the rickety staircase that you will go down to get to the second level, but at least now you're starting to come back down towards the ground. I didn't mute the audio here. The forest really was this quiet. Keep in mind, you do not have to do the Redwood Canopy Trail to continue on with the rest of the trail. It is kind of like a side attraction. So if you are afraid of heights, you're just not up to it for some reason, you can skip it altogether. If you like it, you can do it again and again as many times as you'd like. A cathedral tree is a tree that starts out as one tree and then branches off into many other trees. This is the largest cathedral tree in the world stands 320 feet tall. Once you're back on the ground, you can continue on the trail, and eventually you will wind up at the largest tree in the park, the Brotherhood Tree. This tree is a 19-foot diameter, and it's nearly as tall as a 30-story building. And as you continue up the hill, you'll pass some exhibits about logging through the years. I couldn't imagine chopping down one of these giant, amazing trees, but believe it or not, they actually used to do that. Once you reach the top of the hill, you'll be at the Brotherhood Station, which is your starting point for the Sky Trail, which is a gondola ride that takes you to the top of the mountain. 
Even if you are afraid of heights, I might recommend just closing your eyes and doing this anyway, because the view from the top is amazing and you don't want to miss that. I'm just guessing here, but I would say the highest point off the ground you will see on the gondola ride is about 200 feet. So when you get on this gondola ride, they always stop you about halfway up. So <laughs> if you're coming here, once the thing stops, don't freak out because they're just going to stop you for a couple minutes and then you'll be on your way again. Uh, the first time I came here last year, I did not know that. So <laughs> it was a little different situation because if you break down up here, I don't know how you're going to get down. But anyway, we won't think about that. We'll think happy thoughts. Of course, if you can, you're going to want to keep your eyes open because you get some beautiful views of the forest canopy from the tops of the trees. Yes, it is. You'll disembark at the top of the mountain and make one more uphill trek before you're at the highest point in the park. And when it comes to places that are full of natural beauty, out of all the places I've ever been, this is easily in the top five. Some people might find that gondola ride a little unnerving, but the view from the top is worth it, trust me. could hang out up here and enjoy the view all day, but at some point you're going to have to come back down the mountain. Back in 1995, one of these giant trees was struck by lightning. They call this tree the Towering Inferno. The tree might be dead, but it's still quite beautiful to see. And this little side trail will take you up to this platform where you can actually take a look inside this giant dead tree. I tried my best to capture the majesty of this place, but this video doesn't do it justice. It's really something you have to see with your own eyes.
There are only three places on Earth where you can even see a redwood tree, and California's redwood forest is one of them. Here's a baby cathedral tree, just like the other one but smaller. It'll look like it's big brother sometime in the next 700 years. To me, the candelabra tree is probably the most unique tree in the park. This amazing tree fell quite some time ago, but somehow didn't die. And it's been on the ground so long that three other trees grew out of the main tree and stand completely vertical today. On your way out, you'll walk through the Trail of Tall Tales, which is essentially a collection of wood carvings that someone put a lot of time and effort into. And of course, no trip to the Redwoods is complete without a Bigfoot sighting. The last thing you will see before you head back into the gift shop is this giant cross-section of a Redwood tree, where you can really get an idea of how long these trees have been here. At the end of the gift shop is the end of the Trail Museum, which is a collection of Native American artifacts, mostly from the Northwestern tribes. Some of these items are for sale if you'd like to take one home. guys that's gonna wrap it up today for a look at the trees of mystery here in Klamath California I definitely thank you for coming along thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did do us a favor leave us a comment hit the like button hit subscribe if you haven't already those things really help us out don't cost you a thing so until next time everybody from Klamath California trees of mystery we'll see you down the road